my name is Asiri. Today is the third episode of our program BV in Gaza Sprees. Today we are going to talk about an important topic which is BDS. What does BDS mean? What does the abbreviation of BDS stand for? Are the people support the BDS movement? Let's have some opinions. Hello, what's your name? My name is Ghadir. Hi, my name is Ayn Ghazawi. Uh, hi, my name is Khalil Abu Yahya. Uh, have you ever heard about BDS? Of course, I've heard a lot about it. Yes, of course. BDS is an international movement which stands for a boycott, a divestment and sanctions. It, seeks, it stands for a boycott, um, uh, the divestment and as sanctions. Actually, I'm glad that you have asked me about this topic since I am a BDS activist. Oh, really? Oh, so what do you know about BDS? Uh, BDS is a Palestinian-led grassroots movement that stands for boycott, divestment and sanctions. Uh, basically to boycott Israel on all levels to make sure to isolate it uh, from the world. So uh, basically uh, the BDS movement calls for three basic rights to, of the Palestinians that are freedom, justice and equality. Briefly, BDS is um, a rights-based global international movement that uh, seeks uh, to advocate uh, the Palestinian basic human rights, including the right to return um, to our lands from which um, we were ethnically cleansed by in 1948. It, seeks, it stands for uh, be boycott, um, uh, the divestment and as sanctions. It seeks three um, basic rights, freedom, justice and equality, which everybody in the world enjoys. Uh, that means to to end the multi-tier system of oppression that Israel uh, enshrines uh, and calls for the right to return that every Palestinian refugee is entitled to under the Resolution 194 that the General Assembly of the United Nations have issued. Uh, also, it calls for the military withdrawal of Israeli occupation from the 1967 territories and uh, finally to, uh, to practice equality for Palestinians that, uh, that reside uh, inside what is called now uh, Israel. Thanks a bunch, you are totally right. So do you think that BDS involves only the uh, boycott of food products? Uh, of course not. Boycott, as I've uh, just mentioned, that it calls to boycott Israel on all levels, whether commercially, like Israeli goods, or uh, even uh, politics, media, sport, uh, and any other aspect of life. And it doesn't only target the Israeli companies or Israeli goods, but also targets uh, all the companies that are complicit and benefit from uh, sustaining this uh, system of oppression that Israel enshrines. Let me tell you something. Um, wherever there is oppression, there is BDS. Wherever there is, um, you, you know, a stolen culture and land, there is BDS. Because BDS works in every area um, uh, and every field um, in Palestine, uh, whether by boycotting the products of the Israel occupation forces, uh, by boycotting its culture. You know, there is no culture for the occupation, but uh, they are stealing our culture. مرحبا يعطيكم العافية. الله يعافيك. ااا آه، تسمحونا بمقابلة صغيرة؟ تفضلي فيش مشكلة. عرفونا بحالكم بداية؟ آه، الطالب أحمد محروس فروانة. تفضل. أدهم الهيصان. محمد السكن. بداية آه، عمرك سمعت عن ال BDS أو حركة المقاطعة؟ آه، سمعت عن المقاطعة الصغيرة. آه تاعت الحركة المقاطعة للاحتلال وكذا. طيب شو بتعرف عنها؟ انها حركة عالمية بتهدف لمقاطعة المنتجات الاسرائيلية واي حاجة بتخدم الجانب الاسرائيلي. يعني هذه تقريبا زي منظمة متخصصة انه كيف كيف نقاوم الاحتلال بس بطريقة ثانية سياسيا سياحيا او حتى اقتصاديا يعني ما هي بتعتبر من ضمن الاقتصاد يعني. اللي بعرف انه هي منظمة بتسعى يعني وبتهدف لكشف ممارسات الاحتلال الاسرائيلي وفضح جرائمه يعني. بتدعو على كافة المستويات يعني تمام طيب انت عندك امثلة على اشياء تشملها حركة المقاطعة غير الجانب اللي هو المنتجات الغذائية مثلا زي الحفل اللي كان قبل فترة في اسرائيل حفل يوروفيجن 
كانت حركة البي دي اس من أكبر الداعمين لمقاطعة هذا الحفل لأنه قام في تل أبيب. At the current closure, let us give you more details about the BDS movement. BDS stands for Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions. Boycott involves withdrawing support for Israel and Israeli and international companies that are involved in the violation of Palestinian human rights, as well as countless Israeli sporting, cultural and academic institutions. Divestment campaigns urge banks, local councils, churches, pension funds and universities to withdraw investment for all Israel companies and from international companies involved in violating Palestinian rights. Sanctions convince the pressure governments to fulfill their legal obligation to hold Israel to account, including by ending military trade, free trade agreements, and expelling Israel from international forums such as the UN and FIFA. BDS is now a vibrant global movement made up of unions, academic associations, churches, and grassroots movements across the world. 11 years since its launch, BDS is having a major impact and is effectively challenging international support for Israeli apartheid. Let's support the BDS movement. I hope that you enjoyed watching the third episode of BB in Gaza Street. Like and share the video and subscribe our channel.